morning folks. So today I thought I'd go through um, a process of how you can start thinking about loading calf, Achilles and plantar fascia. So if you've got any uh, pain, discomfort in this area, this is the sort of loading process I would go through. I'm going to go through from the very acute phase because some of you might have overdone it, um, you might just find Achilles is really sore, uh, plantar fascia is really sore and actually you want to start off with some very very basic exercises. As we talked about yesterday, I think one of the biggest problems that people do when they try and reload things is just pitch it too high. So you've got to go from a very, very easy exercise and you've got to gradually progress till you get to harder and harder. And when you think about the harder stuff, it's got to be able to, uh, to equate to what you're doing when you're asking yourself to run. So if you want to sort of easily, gently jog, you need to be able to do some single leg calf raises on the flat maybe, preferably on a step. Um, if you want to be able to run harder and sprint, you need to be able to be doing some jumping and hopping. So, so if we start off with some very, very basic stuff, if we've got acute calf problems or acute plantar problems, even if it's really sore, you can still start loading. You can start with sitting. And what we want to do is we want to get the loading right. So we need to get the weight going through the big toe and the little toe. This is really good at re-education, whether it's really acute or not, so it's a really nice exercise to start with, full stop. You want the weight through the big toe and the little toe, and you, then you want a pyramid coming through the, the talus here. And you basically, you want to take the feet up and down, and actually, you know, you, you can see there's a little bit of juddering on mine. When you do it right, it's not actually what we do when we're walking and running, we know we're all over the shop. So, so it's really, really worth taking the time and just doing a little bit of re-education for those calves, just to tell them and the feet what we want them to do. Okay, so if we do, if we want to make it a little bit harder, we cross the leg across um, and then we go up again. What we don't want is that or that. We want a nice pyramid. We want the heel to stay central and we want the weight to be through the big toes. A lot of us will do this or a lot of us will, will externally rotate. So it's worth just thinking about that, getting it right. So that's your sort of very, very basic exercise. The next one is just to do a little bit of um, isometric work. So it's very, very slow, very, very controlled. You can go up a little bit, hold it, up a little bit more, hold it. Because we're not moving a lot through range, it's much less irritable than actually if we're uh, trying to do sort of full-on calf raises. So we just hold it and we just start to challenge the calves in different points of the range. We hold it at the top, we come down a bit, we can go up a bit, we can go down a bit. And suddenly you start to think, oh, my calves are working here, they're getting a bit tired. Okay, and the next phase from that is you can actually start doing that on one leg. Really slow, gentle holes. Notice how slow and controlled it is. There's a big temptation for everyone to do these things too fast. It's okay to hold on because at the moment we're not testing your balance. So once we've done some slow controlled stuff, you can then just go to some two-feeted up and down calf raises. So a little bit more dynamic but we're still on two feet. So it's still relatively easy and it's not too hard an exercise, okay? Once you can do two foot, I do need to hold on a little bit, you can start progressing to one foot, nice and easy. Okay, you think, right, I can do that. The key is, when you've got any acute sort of injury, you don't want any, you want minimal pain and you want no pain the next day. So it's no pain after 24 hours and you know you've pitched the exercise just right. Okay, so we can do that, that's fine. What can we move on to? Let's move on to our step. Notice, I'm not doing anything that we need the gym for. All this you can do at home. We could go through some isometrics in the gym and using all the funky equipment, but at the moment, we don't have that. But you've all got a step. Okay, hopefully this will, will hold me. So then you just start going up and down on the step. And then you can, it's not very stable, then we can progress to one leg on the step. Oh, as I said, not very stable. <laughs> Um, it's better than do it in the hall anyway. Okay, so so we've we've moved on and we're we're now doing our one leg eccentric calf raises on a step. Um, it's really good to make them really slow, really controlled. I couldn't do it slow and controlled because I think the step was going to fall over. But the slower you do it, the more you load the whole of that tendon. You'll load the whole of that Achilles tendon through range. Now, I'm sure there's lots of you out there that've got plantar fascia problems. Um, if you have this is your best friend. I have done a separate blog on plantar fascia, so if you want to have a quick look at my YouTube channel, um, 
then there is a, a full sort of know, about 15 minutes on plantar, plantar fascia, so you have a look at that. However, the one take home message is you do the same exercises, but you add this in. So this is a rolled up towel. Tea towel is perfect. Okay, and you start your exercises. You start off um, exactly the same, you load them exactly the same way, only you put your towel, you put your toes on the towel. What this does is it loads the tendon and allows the, the big toes just to be on stretch and allows that plantar fascia just to be loaded that little bit more. And then same thing, you can just do your, your calf raises. Should be nice and slow and nice and controlled. Okay, so that's another take home message from today. That's a really good one. So, so what's next and how do we know, you know, are we good enough to run? Okay, so, so you, you've, done it, you've done your sort of single leg uh, loads and that's okay, there's no reaction. So you think, right, well, what's it like if I just do some little jumps? Oh, I can do that. Okay, do some little jumps. What's it like if I go onto one foot? Okay, yeah, go onto the other foot, that's okay. And we can do three, two, and you think, okay, that's not too bad. I can try a little bit of that at home and think, right, okay, so, so now I need to challenge that jumping a bit more because that's okay. <clears throat> so you can see this is where I'm not fit at the moment. We've got a nice square on the ground. So let's just make jumping a little bit more specific at home. So we can jump forwards and backwards. We can jump side to side and we can do the diagonals. What I suggest is you do 10 of each, three sets of 10, okay? You're getting a nice bit of load, nice bit of endurance, bit of plyometrics. So the calf and Achilles are used to that loading. And <laughs> should have practiced this beforehand. And then, so when you've, when you've done the two feet jumping, guess what's next, okay? So, whoa, okay, a bit harder. So I need to practice this one. <laughs> I need to practice this a lot. Um, okay, well you can all have a giggle at that. Um, but anyway, you get the picture, side to side, forwards, backwards and diagonal. So that's your, I would say, one of your final phases. And then go in the garden, hop in straight lines, jump in straight lines, do a bit of bounding. And all that will really, really help build up that strength and endurance in your calf and Achilles. If you're prone to calf problems, as long as you know where the cause of the calf is, then these are really good things to build up, especially Achilles problems, plantar fascia, weak ankle, you know, any of those things, these are all excellent exercises. Obviously, what we've got to look at is, what's the cause of the calf, calf problem? Sometimes it's higher up. If it's higher up, you need to target the core. You need to target what's going on up there because if that's not strong enough, the calf will be overloaded. Okay, that's it folks.